you are into IKEA products so much, these IKEA shopping ideas can help you manage your shopping time effectively and efficiently. Not to mention, also inexpensively. We get it. Who doesn't love IKEA? With high quality construction, affordable price, and attractive designs, it is so easy to get lost into its charm and end up buying more than you need. But with these tips, hopefully, you can shop like a pro and you don't have to hurt your financial standing just because you overspend. Next, this is 12 IKEA shopping ideas you'll need to remember by SimpHome.com. Number 12. Better Shopping List Many people underestimate the importance of a shopping list, while in reality, the list can be a guidance to get the things you want while avoiding impulse buying at the same time. Basically, feel free to use any shopping list that you want, the traditional one or the digital version. The latter one refers to you using the official website and using the special feature called Save to List. Once you have created your list, you can print it out. The greater thing about this list is that you can choose any store that is closest to your location, know the aisle, and have it printed on the list so you won't have to wander around the store. This is one handy IKEA shopping idea. Number 11. Get Family Card Member When you sign up for the family membership, there are lots of benefits to enjoy. First of all, you can get free frozen yogurt when you first sign up. You can also get seasonal updates and enjoy the 25% discounts for the items. If you especially have kids, then this family card can be super handy because you can save up a lot of money for buying household items as well as the items for the kids. Number 10. Always remember to eat first. Before going shopping at IKEA, it is better to have your tummy filled first. Shopping sometimes can evoke hunger, and when you are shopping with an empty stomach, you are somewhat tempted to buy more than you need. It doesn't matter whether you shop for food or household items, the principle still applies. One of the great IKEA shopping ideas is to have something to eat first. Not only full stomach will soothe your mind, you won't be easily tempted to buy things that you don't actually need. Number 9. IKEA is great for party or wedding decorations. Sure, you can always find these items at other places, but you won't find such a great deal like in IKEA. Moreover, when you have to buy these party supplies in a large quantity, imagine the amount of money that you can save. If you want to save up a lot of money, go to IKEA for your party supplies. You won't regret it. Candles or frames are especially popular as inexpensive party supplies in most IKEA realtors. Number 8. Right Shopping Manner During Weekends Remember that weekends can be super crazy, especially with the long lines and the packed of people here and there. Of course, the best way for you to do the shopping is on weekdays. They are heaven. However, if weekdays are off limits, then you don't have any choice except to do it during weekends. Here is IKEA shopping ideas. Do it early or go there when it is about to close, about an hour before they close down. It saves you time from having to wait for the long lines at the checkout counters and you can avoid the pack of humans everywhere you go. Number 7. As is section is a treasure. You can always find a treasure at this section. This is a hidden area that most people don't know about. With your shopping list in hand, venture to this section and look for the items that you want. You'd be surprised to find many stylish things in low prices. In most cases, previous buyers who have returned the open packages or floor models often end up in this section. If you want to know how to shop like a pro, this IKEA shopping idea will definitely help. Number 6. Be realistic and keep it real. Impulsive buying is real, and most homeowners have been familiar with the impact of adrenaline rush when they see something cute and inexpensive, and those things aren't in their shopping list. But you need to keep it together and use your head. For instance, if you don't have kitchen cabinets with doors, why would you buy the replacements? Or if you have allergy and you can't use any rugs or carpets at home, why bother buying one? Logic is still important, and that's actually the number one rule in this list. Number 5. Consider Shipping Fee Although you can always have your orders delivered to your house, there is always a shipping fee included, and the amount can be quite a lot. If you can manage everything on your own, especially if you live quite near to the store, then you won't have a problem. Unfortunately, if you happen to buy a cabinet, for instance, and several household items, and you are shopping alone, it would be impossible for you to manage everything alone, right? If this is the case, then it would be better to do your shopping from Amazon. Yes, they also sell IKEA products, and they like to offer free shipping offers, especially if you buy more than one item. 
Make use of this offer and you don't have to worry any more about delivery or such stuff. It has already been covered. Number four, eat there. Just because you have filled your tummy at home, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the treats. In most stores, you will find free kids zone and sometimes they like to offer free treats too. However, never leave your kids alone because they may be lost. Always be there for them and they will welcome the opportunity to explore the store with you. After all, IKEA is like a big playground that is appealing for both adults and kids. If you aren't really into free treats but you don't mind a little bite, there are two different types of restaurants in any IKEA stores. The first one is the self-serve type, and the second one is the Bistro Cafe, which is generally found close to the check-in counter. The cinnamon roll in the Bistro Cafe is super, so don't forget to drop by if you want to have memorable time shopping at IKEA. Number three, remember the discount events. IKEA is pretty generous in giving out discounts. They can hold three to four times special events within a year where you find abundant of discounted items. These events are seasonal, really, so in case you miss out on an event, keep in mind that you will find one within the next three months. Make use of these events to buy the things you need. When you combine this event with your family card, the discounts can be quite huge, and you will end up saving a lot of money. Number two, know your way around. IKEA stores are mostly big and wide and vast. If you aren't familiar with the location, it would be easy to get lost within the maze. If this is your first time going to an IKEA store, you should prepare a map, which you can find at the entrance. In fact, you should be able to find a lot of items at the entrance. A catalog, for a starter, can be handy if you want to take a look at your option. The decision to tag the catalog with you is totally up to you. You will also find the map, which may be functional to help you find your way through the aisles and sections. You can also find shopping cart or bag. It is up to you to bring them both or just pick one. And then there is the pencil and notepad, which can be used to jot down the number of aisle where your items are located. In short, it doesn't hurt to know your way around. If you aren't familiar with the store, know that these items can help. Before we get to number one, I suggest you press the subscribe button if this channel is new to you and the bell icon beside it. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos every time I have published it. Number one, don't get lost in marketplace. The marketplace is the area where you can find the accessories for home decor, such as the rugs, the curtains, pillows, and so much more. Don't spend too much time here or you will be tempted to buy things that you don't actually need and end up spending more than your budgets. If you do have to buy accessories, find the item you want and leave as soon as possible. This is the safest IKEA shopping idea that you can implement. Done! Because you're still watching, like this video before you leave or share it with anyone close to you in your social circle. See you again later with better videos. Thank you.